knowing art. It's not just for hanging stuff on walls. A lot of times it's used to make things that you need or want, or for creating something for those you love the most. Let's make a cat teepee. All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to make a cat teepee. Yay, for this guy, so he will not appreciate it. All right, get out of here. Ungrateful, ungrateful. All right, so you know, there's a bunch of DIY, you know, make cat teepees or, or pet teepees out there. But you know, this one's gonna be different in that you're not gonna need any skills. Just like the title says, no skills needed. You know, the other ones, you know, you're gonna need like a sewing machine, you're gonna know how to use a sewing machine, they're gonna use like weird math and geometry. There's gonna be no math and no geometry involved in this at all. So I don't believe in spending a bunch of money, especially on the cats, because you never know what they're gonna play with. So my TP thing is, you know, cheap and easy. You know, you're not gonna invest a lot of money or invest a lot of time. So here we go. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is some kind of sticks. Now, I just happen to have these because I'm an artist and I collect materials, so I have these left over from broken stuff. However, if I didn't have these, I would just go ahead and buy dowels, you know, wooden dowels at Michael's for like a couple bucks each. Anyways, you're gonna need sticks. Then you're gonna need some type of material to put around the tent. Now, you can go out and buy fancy canvas or whatever, but you know, I'm just gonna use the sheet here, as you can see, this crummy old bed sheet, which you can see the boy has already ripped a hole in it, so, you know, there's no sense in buying something new, especially since he may not even use it or he's gonna destroy it instantly so I'm just gonna use this old sheet however you if you want to use fancy material you can go out and buy fancy material whatever that's up to you and then here's pretty much the other things you're gonna need you're gonna need some tweed rope because everybody loves tweed rope everybody some scissors rubber band and hot glue gun and also a beast definitely probably gonna need a beast for your TP so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring four sticks together, you know, and then I'm gonna put a rubber band on them like this, and then I'm gonna start spreading it out, and I'm gonna try to make the bottom ends make like a square. It doesn't have to be perfect, because again, it's for your cats, so it doesn't have to be perfect, who cares? But I'm gonna try to make it as square as possible like this. And then once I have it in a pretty good shape where I'm happy with it, I'm gonna go ahead and take my tweed rope. Now I'm gonna tie it around one of them. Again, I'm not, you know, it doesn't have to be a fancy knot, just tie any knot that you know. And then I'm just gonna start wrapping it. And I'm just gonna wrap it and wrap it and wrap it until it, you know, either covers over band or, you know, I'm satisfied. Of course, after you're done wrapping it, if you still see the rubber band, you could just cut it. But I'm just gonna wrap it till I think it looks good and it's stable, like this. Now I was gonna cut the sheet, you know, wrap it around, but um, I'm just gonna try, you know, folding it and wrapping it around like this, cause you know, work smarter, not harder. So I'm just gonna fold this in half like this, and I'm gonna wrap it around, and you know what, it, it looks pretty good. So you know what, I'm not even gonna use my scissors. So now all I need is, you know, a safety pin, and then I'll just pin it like this, and boom, there you go. So I was gonna hot glue gun, you know, the sheet to the little sticks, but um, it has this stretchy band, and I think I'm just gonna take advantage of that and just put it on the edge and just tuck it under like this. Uh, Cause again, it's for the cat, who cares? And there you go, you throw a cat bed in there and boom, it's a teepee, it's done. I mean, yeah, it looks fine to me. I mean, I'm not trying to impress anybody as long as it works for the cat, it works for me. Uh, yeah, you could pretty much just end it here if you wanted to, but you know, I'm an artist and I have spray paint lying around, so I've thought, might as well spray paint it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take it outside and spray paint it red first, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna try to make the bottom edge darker, so I'm using a paper to kind of like, try to make a straight line, even though it's not that straight, but who cares? All right, then I made this like diamond-esque little stencil thing that just adds some detail. I don't know what I'm doing. I just made it really quick. So I'm just gonna use that to spray some stuff around it, and yeah, boom, looks pretty good. And there you go, kind of looks like a watermelon, which I didn't want, but I mean, it looks fine, whatever. It's more interesting than the white sheet, I guess. But uh, there you go. That's pretty much cat TP. No skill involved, no skill involved. Cat approved, cat approved. So there you go, easy cat TP. And as you can see, my cat likes it. I don't know if your cat's gonna like it, but even if your cat doesn't like it, or dog or whatever doesn't like it you know at least you didn't spend a lot of time or money doing it so there you go thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't already checked out my other channel beast puff and yeah make those beast tps they still won't appreciate it though they will never appreciate it